Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. This is the Wix Online Meeting 158, rolling our way into November, getting close to the end of 2018. I don't really know where this whole year went. It's kind of <laughs> amazing. <laughs> We're already in November. Um, as always, these re meetings are being recorded for those of you that aren't with us right here, right now, although we welcome you watching it as you're watching it. So. Uh, we don't have triage today because we don't have any new bugs to discuss. We have a couple that got open, but they're on things inside what I want to talk about, namely Wix 4 progress, and Bob opened them, so we don't need to triage them, we just need to go fix those bugs. So I thought, uh, since we talked last week about the repos, I'd talk about where we're at in Wix 4 progress, um, kind of what things are working, what things need to be done. Um, and then we'll do the usual question comments for those people that are here with us right now. Normally I'd say, Bob, are you ready? But I'm just going to keep on talking. All right, so where are we at in Wix 4? So in the core tools, we have a lot of the core tools stuff in place around the, the superstructure and creating MSIs and MSMs in the core scenarios, like basically building an MSI that has a cab or a merge module that has a cab, building Wix libs, all those kinds of things. There are a few areas that are not completed, uh, namely, in, we don't support merge modging, merging, uh, merging merge modules. Wow, I do not know why that was so hard to say. Um, and we don't have patching in there. Uh, Jacob is here and is going to continue to bemoan the fact that we don't have patching because it breaks a bunch of burn tests, and I appreciate that. We will get the patching all wired back in there, um, but it's currently basically a whole bunch of to do code, if def to do code around patching to basically bring this code back um, in the new Wix 4 way of doing things. Also missing are bundles, um, and that's mostly because of the next item, uh, but that also will be very straightforward of, all right, bring all that code, turn it back on, and then we'll have bundles coming back on. So the work in the core tools, there's a chunk of work around patching, just because patching is so massively... Uh, complicated and annoying, um, but merging merge modules would be pretty straightforward, and bringing the bundle code back will not be a big deal. So turning our attention then to burn, burn has not been organized into a new repo, if you remember from last week, and it is one of our larger items to do. Um, one of the things preventing us from doing that uh, reorganization of the code into micro repos has been the fact that there are a bunch of pull requests that Sean had done to do very good restructuring of things inside burn to make it uh, better so we can not depend on interfaces and all that good of backwards compatibility avoidance stuff <laughs> in the technical terms there. Uh, you have to go back farther in history to remember our discussions about that. Anyway, I have finally uh, woke up massively early this morning and just sat down and did all those pull requests. So I think Burn should now be unblocked from being pushed out into its own repo, which will then start to enable us to bring the code into the core tools so that bundles work, and we'll be back to Burn working um, in Wix 4. Again, mostly work to structure the code in the micro repo world, not a whole lot of thinking, I don't think. It's not like, oh, how are we going to solve this problem? Uh, mechanical, I guess, mostly mechanical work. Uh, next thing in the list is the set of extensions that are left to be done, uh, namely, well, this list, I'm not going to go through all, complex to fix, direct access, HP, you know, those things. Uh, we have the other ones kind of brought over. Um, there may be some gaps or bugs in them that need to be fixed, like util, things like that, but in general, they have shown the pattern uh, and the organization of putting each extension into its own repo is working, seems to be working pretty well. And so when we bring these guys over, they will be essentially kind of, a, again, another mechanical operation to bring them over into their own repo, um, get them structured like the other ones, and working. Um, heat is an interesting uh, tool because it's one of the few command line tools that will continue to exist. Uh, as we've discussed in the past, especially in the last meeting, um, candle.exe, light.exe, all those separate tools have gone away and been replaced with, well, if you're just using MS Build, well, you never really saw them anyway. And if you use them from the command line, they've been replaced by wix.exe um, and then the command, like just build to do everything. Um, heat, on the other hand, is still kind of a uh, outlier. I don't do a lot. We don't really have anyone actively maintaining heat. I certainly don't like going into that code and don't like messing with it. Um, and so I am going to bring it over, get it into its own repo, and then it'll be 
there. <laughs> it'll get built and it'll be around. Um, so that will then, I think it and like Wixcop, which has already been brought over, are a couple of the only tools that will um, remain as uh, the standalone tools that aren't going to get wrapped into the core tools. And that's why I called it out. I would call out Wixcop, except that uh, with the work that Sean and then Bob and I have done, uh, Wixcop seems to be working pretty well. I think you'd vouch for that, wouldn't you, Bob? That Wixcop seems pretty happy. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. Yeah. No real, no real problems. It yeah does what it promises to do. Um, you know, in terms of of converting. Ed, sorry, my focus has been primarily on it, on using it to convert Wix three code to Wix four. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, we ran into some bugs, and between the three of us, we've fixed them and cleaned it up, and yeah, it seems to be working very well. And if we find more, we'll fix them. But it's uh, the tool is nice and working, so it makes should make it fairly straightforward to bring their source code people to bring their source code from Wix three to Wix four. Uh, which can be a bit of a daunting undertaking if you don't have a tool like that to help. Um, so that's why that guy's not called out, mostly because I consider that tool generally working in, in the space. Um, so that might be, like, along with Wix.exe, Wixcop and Heat might be a couple of the only um, exes that we ship as part of Wix4, as per se. There is, uh, so that then brings us to the votive and setup areas. Um, these are tied together because of the changes we're making uh, around distributing the Wix toolset as a NuGet package, as has been um, massively requested, and is seems to be generally the way that Visual Studio and MS Build are pushing people, is to essentially try to put all of your tooling into NuGet and have MS Build restore, restore it. Um, there are some questions in um, <laughs> what has to work in Votive for it to work with Wix 4. Um, Votive is another one of those areas that I don't like going into and I don't do much work in except to try to keep it, you know, basically not completely broken from uh, in, <laughs> in what works. So um, I, we have to do a little bit more investigation and some final decisions on um, how we're distributing all the Wix toolset or what it means to distribute the Wix toolset via NuGet, because there's a couple different ways it can work with SDK style projects or just using packages.config, um, and then what that means for setup going forward and what our distribution what our distribution points are. If NuGet is the primary way you get the tools, <laughs> kind of weird to say, but do we have an MSI for the Wix tool set? Which still pains me a little bit, but I, I want to talk about all of that, but I don't think we know quite enough about the implications of all this quite yet to have a uh, educated uh, conversation on our side of what's going to happen um, on the Wix side. So that's why I put a TBD on these that need to do a little bit more work to figure out what, where we're at, what we're going to, you know, what will work for Wix, and then go forward from there. Because we also still do have that handful of, of uh, you know, command line tools that. Generally, getting through NuGet is not as pleasant. Yeah, we have the, the global.net tools, um, which have their own set of issues. Yeah, so we will. We need to kind of get all these put together and then decide how we're going to shoot with them, how to get them into their appropriate places. Um, so that's kind of Wix for progress. Um, it might seem like a lot, or it might not seem to a lot. Like, depends on how you look at it. Uh, there was a lot of work behind the core tools, which shouldn't be surprising. That's where the bulk of the interesting code in the Wix tool set is. Um, and we've gotten through the hard parts of that in generally. So the rest of this is mostly mechanical following existing patterns. Um, and so we will continue to make progress on these various areas. Uh, heat is probably the most interesting or at least mechanical of extracting code out because it's kind of spread all over the place, which is one of the things I dislike about heat. I'm going to try to kind of centralize it back and just drop it in one place. Um, and burn has a couple decisions in the micro repo world to make about, you know, what are the interfaces that get passed because burn has um, things that are then shared downstream and published, uh, namely the headers that how you build your own BA. And so we need to talk a little bit about where those exist so that we can publish them out of the system appropriately. But otherwise, uh, pretty mechanical to bring most of that stuff back over. Anything else you guys here want to talk about about this stuff I've not thought about or 
didn't explain well. John, Bob. No? Pretty quiet. Yeah, I mean, it, it works. I, I'm, I'm in the process of converting a massive amount of setup from Wix 3 to Wix 4. You know, I have over 10,000 files, so I'm keeping an eye on Wixcop. Um, but yeah, you know, the, the basics building Wixlibs and building MSIs, that's all working really well, so. Yeah, on that front, I'm sure some people are asking, oh, cool, so when can I get all this and, you know, when are you going to put it on NuGet so I can start trying to use it? And the answer is just hesitating a bit to put it on NuGet because once you put things up, you can't take them down. Um, and pre-release doesn't really mean pre-release to a lot of people, it seems. They're just like, oh, I'll just take the cutting edge, no big deal. Um, so I'm, I'm hesitating a little bit. Also, because you can't take them down, we have to make some decisions about how do we really name these things and how do they all hook together, which is a lot of the, the hesitation around that TBD, essentially a lot of just decisions to be made in there um, after thinking through the repercussions fully <laughs> as much as we can before we start pulling the trigger on publishing these, these things up. So if you want to play with them now, you can build the code. It's all buildable. Um, the micro repos we discussed in the last meeting will help you do that so you can start playing with it. But um, working towards that TBD is definitely on the list, although it may come after we get, you know, kind of burn and a couple more extensions squared away when we have a good feel for, all right, this is this is what it's going to look like. We have a very solid understanding of what it is. All right, so that's Wix 4 progress. Generally, I guess people are like, yeah, keep on keeping on. So I will continue to make progress in here. Um, and Sean and Bob will jump in and help as We'll face that, and if anybody else wants to start getting deeply involved in the Wix toolset, uh, Wix 4 is a fun place to be. Uh, a lot of less backwards compatibility challenges to worry about, because Wix Cop just takes care of it for you. <laughs> anyway, uh, that's Wix 4 progress. I don't have anything else for today. Our bug count's nice and low, on at least on Wix 3, um, which is good, because we're not really taking bugs anyway, there anyway, and because we haven't released 4, because we know there's lots of bugs in it, we're not getting lots of bugs there either. So... In between those two spaces, anybody have anything else they want to talk about? Just things they want to bring up? Stuff going on in the outside world. No. All right. It's a pretty quiet meeting today. Sean's like, I'm not going to say anything. No. It's all good. Um, <laughs> all right. Well, I guess on that very quiet note, we'll call it a meeting. You now have a quick update on Wix 4 progress. Things are going well. Um, we just need you know more time and energy to put forth into getting everything um, laid out and uh, migrated over. So until two weeks from now, I think two weeks is not Thanksgiving. Oh, it is Thanksgiving. Wait. Two weeks yeah. is Thanksgiving. Oh. Yeah. Ah, um, I don't think we're going to have this meeting in two weeks. Probably not. Uh, how about we go to December 6th? Because I don't know that we're going to get a lot in that Thanksgiving week, and we haven't been getting lots of bugs, so how about we just skip four and call it good? It works for me. Sean? Yeah. All right. Cool. So we won't be here in um, two weeks. That'll be Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. I don't know how far that goes around the world. Probably not that far since it was our invasion of this country. But anyway, all good. Um, <laughs> we'll call it good. Uh, four weeks from now, December. Holy cow, it'll be December. Uh, we'll get back here and talk about what progress we've made in that time and where we're going for uh, the rest of the year. Until then, take it easy. Bye. Bye. Bye.